Hey everyone, Oil Mal. So today is going to be the day I hope, fingers crossed, we are going to get all the bulbs planted. Also, we already dug the dahlia tubers. So in the spot where they were, we're going to plant a magnolia tree, which has been bought a while ago. I want to say July. Somewhere in that region. Uh, well, we, we bought it in a garden center and thought it was beautiful. So we took it home um, and we decided we wanted to place it in that spot. But the dahlia tubers were already there. So <laughs> they couldn't be moved at that point. So we decided to pot it up in a bare pot. And since the dahlias are now gone and the tree itself has lost its foliage. So it's in slumber or in winter sleep or hibernation or however you want to call it. So now we're going to get that one also in the ground uh, at the same time. So it hasn't been freezing really. Um, so it's still a good time to plant it and it will just be able to uh, make some little roots since the root growth never really stops even in winter, only when it freezes really, really hard, I believe. Um, but still we'll get it tucked in and yeah so my task is going to be planting the bulbs boyfriend task getting the tree in but i will probably need to help with the tree but for now divide and conquer <laughs> let me show you the bulbs so these are the last bulbs that are going to be planted um, they're going to go in the, in the newest border we created. Let me show you. Don't mind the mess. Real life laundry happening while drying, actually. But also, ignore the mess in the bedroom. Let me see. So, well, there's a mesh behind it, but I'm not going to move it because it's cold outside. But... That's the area these bulbs are going to go in. And I think it's a lot of bulbs, but luckily there aren't any bulbs in there. So that's our advantage. So yeah. My first, yeah. My first task is going to be just to lay all the bulbs out and see which are going where. And then I'm going to put them in buckets yeah buckets um just to well save time and not having to do it outside in the cold because yeah that'll be handy so um we have well several different bulbs like this is an allium ivory queen so it's a low version so it's going in the front for example some fritillaria Another Fritillaria, some Galantis with double flowers, which I love. And I was like, yeah, gotta have them. More Ivory Queen, some gorgeous daffodils. These are called Martinette from, as you can see, from Flower Farm. And the other paper bags are... This is better, I think. Farmer Gracie. And the colored ones, which also unfortunately have the plastic, are from local garden center. So not really... Um, well, the brand of this one is Baltus, for example. But I bought them in a local garden center. You can probably get them online as well. But yeah. So let me set up a camera and I'll just divide in divide them so i know the area which is long and narrow so yeah step one <laughs>
I got everything sorted and well, just opened and out of their bags. Um, so the I'm going to be planting from back to front. At least that's the idea. Well, in the front, there's going to be a mix of uh, the Allium Ivory Tower, I believe. Let me check. Ivory Queen, I'm sorry. So Ivory Queen and then uh, the botanical or the wild tulips, I should say. I should say. So the low growing version. They have a picture with them. So it's a mixture of these kinds of tulips. So not your standard, but like I said, wild tulips. Then I made a bin with all the double flowering galantas, which some of them came with this handy card, which eh, handy dandy, um, which I'm going to be spreading basically more towards the back. Well, you have the front or front border with these bulbs and then in the back, these ones. The tulips are just going to get mixed in randomly on spots. Same goes for the daffodils. In the bottom of this, they are the um, fritillaria and the leuconium. And these ones, so the summer snowflake, I believe, which are going to get planted. And the other bags are just the rest of them, which if there were multiple bags, I put them together and so on and so on so yeah now it's just a matter of getting it all outside planted and checked up the list I mentioned previously magnolia going over there where the dahlia dahlias used to be <laughs> boyfriend is going to dig that hole using the auger which i'm also going to need because i want to use the auger and he's murdering my plants over there but hey and we're using an empty pot to use as a um, guide to know how big the hole needs to be. So he's going to get digging and I'm just going to watch. Yay!
tiny bulbs. Would you? All the bulbs have been planted so we have a long row in the front some galantis here in a drift more in the front a lot of holes here holes 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 more holes over there those are tulips tulips um Summer snowflake, I believe, and this is all daffodil. So, the last step is tucking them all in and cleaning up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to get your bulbs planted and yeah now we get to enjoy them in the spring uh, if all goes well and they don't disappear rot away something <laughs> do you have anything to say huh? maybe not <laughs> thank you for watching guys bye everyone dag allemaal